Cannibalism in animals is not something out of the norm. We've seen hippos eating their offspring, crocodiles chomping off each other's legs, deer eating other dead deer, hamsters eating their newborn babies, I mean, we've seen it all. But a snake swallowing itself? Well, that's actually something new. As we've already known, snakes literally eat everything they come across. But a recent video titled Suicidal Snake Eating Itself caught the whole world's attention as it shows a snake trying to swallow its own tail, to the point that the blood starts gushing out because of its strong bite. I am definitely not a snake lover, but this video is kind of upsetting to watch, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but what causes the poor snake to perform such strange behavior? Come on, slither it up. Snake a snake. Well, as usual, I did a little digging and found out that this is not actually so strange. Sometimes, snakes will go full circle and begin to eat their own tails. This behavior is also called Ouroboros, because the Ouroboros is often interpreted as a symbol for eternal cyclic renewal, or a cycle of life, death, and rebirth as it depicts a serpent or snake eating its own tail. And in this case, it do be like that though. However, unlike this mythical symbol, it isn't about self-renewal when snakes do this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Snakes are cold-blooded animals, which means they aren't able to regulate their body temperatures. They need external heat sources, like the sun or a lamp, in order to warm themselves. But if they get too warm, they aren't able to sweat to cool down. In fact, most snakes will die if exposed to temperatures above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So, they need to find refuge in a cool, shady spot, and their temperature will drop to match their surrounding. Because if snakes get too hot, and a cool, shady spot is not available in their habitat, they can become confused and disoriented. They also get a ramped up metabolism, causing them to have a false sense of hunger and desire to eat the first thing they see. And as a captive snake in the video typically lives alone and food isn't routinely consistently available to them, they end up attacking themselves. And they may also attack themselves if they are shedding and have diminished eyesight, mistaking their tails for prey. You know, because snakes also shed in their eyes too, and that shedding really makes it hard for them to see clearly. Another theory is that snakes will bite themselves when they are close to passing away. When a snake is on its last legs, no pun intended, <laughs> <Got he. laughs> it may start biting itself. This theory is supported by the fact that it's often the older snakes that get caught portraying this behavior regularly. So, if you have a pet snake and this happens, you should immediately reduce the surrounding temperature and spritz the snake with some cool water to cool them down. But keep in mind, when snakes guide their food in, they do not guide it out or let go, so sometimes it may be difficult for them to let go. And due to the fact that a lot of snakes, like ball pythons, are constrictors, they have backward pointed teeth. This prevents their prey from wriggling free. The more they try to pull out of the snake's jaw, the stronger the grip becomes, which could obviously result in a fatal episode for the snake. Or you can do what this man is doing. A bit of hand sanitizer is all it takes to get the snake to regurgitate and release itself. But if a snake starts swallowing its tail and keeps going, Will it disappear? Is it even possible? Good question, but I'd say it's physically impossible because the snake will die before it consumes itself entirely. So yeah, it will basically die of choking. Then get bronzed and made into jewelry. Nah, I'm just kidding. Eating yourself is painful and not a comfortable experience, I must say. But what about a snake eating you? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be eaten whole by a snake? I've always been curious about that, 
and as usual, I did a little digging. I think the best way to find out the answer to that question is to experience it firsthand. Ooh. I'd probably go to South Africa and try to find the biggest green anaconda. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. And maybe aggravate it a little until it attacks and tries to eat me. Do you think that's a good idea? Of course it's not, dummy. Are you stupid or something? Because, firstly, who would be that dumb to let a freaking anaconda swallow you whole? And secondly, they don't eat people, even though a full-grown anaconda can easily eat large mammals like jaguars, deers, and pigs. But they simply can't, because our shoulders are too wide, and the only one that has even the slightest chance is the reticulated python, but only if it's lucky enough to break both your shoulders. And even if it manages to get a hold of you, it will kill you first, as constrictors always kill their prey before they eat it. So chances are, you'll be dead before you know anything. It's the next day the motherfucker was dead. But, let's say, in a world where there's a giant snake that loves to eat humans, and you accidentally become its target. You know you're gonna be eaten alive, and you don't know what to expect. Well, they would probably eat from your head first, so you will feel extreme pain when traveling down the stomach as it slowly crushes your bones and skull. Plus, you won't be able to breathe properly due to tight constriction. Ugh. Imagine the smell. It would take a while for you to be fully inside the snake so you can enjoy the last few moments of your life. But, to be honest, slow death is the worst. Imagine suffering from the pain. But I think, by the time the snake swallows half your body, you would probably pass out due to lack of oxygen, or even be dead already. But fortunately, everything I've said is just imagination, so don't worry. Because the chance you come across an anaconda is very rare, let alone that it tries to eat you. But even if you see one, bro, just run, run for your life. Run, bitch! Run! You'll never know if the snake changes its mind or not, right? So, what do you think about today's video? Let us know in the comments below. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up Subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything from Wildpedia.